One shot, one life lost. Tonight, an Oklahoma City family's anguish and the social media push demanding justice. KOCOs can pass off now with the death that some believe isn't what police say it is. This uh, summer, we went to the Grand Canyon and a friend took the picture and did this for her. Sandra Stevens' mom says there are too many questions left unanswered in her daughter's death. More than 1,600 people on the Justice for Sandra Stevens Facebook page agree. We had a man that contacted police reporting that his girlfriend had apparently shot herself. On Saturday morning, police rushed to this home in northwest Oklahoma City. They found Stevens dead inside. Police initially reported her death to KOCO as a homicide, but her boyfriend told investigators she used a shotgun to kill herself. We are still actively investigating this case. As of this point right now, uh, it does appear to be a suicide. Police provided KOCO this brief report, but have denied a request for a copy of the 911 call. We also requested an autopsy report. The state medical examiner has not replied. Kylie Sanders also lives in the house where Stevens died. I didn't know what was going on. She was sleeping when the gun went off. I just couldn't believe it. She says the couple was fighting shortly before the incident. Do you believe that she took her own life? Yeah. I mean, for the most part, yeah. Sanders' mom has no doubt she did not take her own life. I know she didn't want to kill herself. I know. Kim Passoff, KOCO, 5 News.